My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got an exciting car for you right here, a 69 Chevelle Super Sport convertible, gorgeous colors. There's a 502 crate motor under the hood and a five-speed Tremec transmission sticking up out of the console between the bucket seats. Beautiful, exciting, fun car. Go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures, get the price. Not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars and they are all for sale. So visit volocars.com. If you just enjoy watching the videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll see the new ones as they're posted. For right now, the top's down. Join me. Let's go for a spin in the 69 Chevelle. Yeah, it's got a lot going for it. It's a gorgeous car. It's not perfect or pristine, but it's a very good car. And uh, it would just be a whole lot of fun to go out and drive this thing around on a nice summer day. Uh, let's start with the underneath. The metal on this car is amazing. Everything I've seen, I'm really blown away at how clean the metal is. That's your foundation. Everything else can be fixed. The clean metal is important. The floors are so nice. They cleaned them and they resprayed them in the red oxide primer like when they left the factory, and all the seams and braces, the, the floors are smooth. You can wipe them with a rag. The inner rockers, even the inner uh, lower quarter panels, right before the, or behind the tire here, up inside there, there's a drain plug. That's always rusted, patched, replaced. They're clean. The plugs are still there. The inner rockers are clean. All the seams are crisp. They're not you know, crunchy or coming apart. So anyway, you get the point. Underneath this car is clean metal. The front end components are all look good and you know proper, but they're not new. Uh, the back suspension is new. It's got a Hotchkiss uh, performance suspension. It's got the big square bar, uh, upper and lower control arms, uh, sway bar, new shocks, springs like they look like they might be new as well. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's fresh, nice, clean, Chevy orange motor. It's got a high torque starter. It's got a, a heavy duty scatter shield connected to the Tremec five speed transmission. 99% sure the fellow I got it from just had the transmission rebuilt. I shot an email to him to confirm it. Um, I'll post that in our description. Um, I didn't hear back from him yet, but I think that's what he told me. Uh, it has a hydraulic clutch. The U-joints look fairly recent. It's a 12-volt rear end and back with a chrome cover. Not sure the gears offhand. I did drive this home, and uh, you know, it was quick and spunky and rode nice. I'm going to say the gears aren't anything exotic, probably uh, right in the middle, like a 355, something like that. A uh, real nice exhaust system. It's a fat pipe, looks like 2.5-inch pipe with a crossover pipe. Uh, Flowmaster mufflers, got the cowbell tips, real nice sounding. You'll hear it in a little bit. Uh, the fuel tank is nice and clean. I can see a new uh, electric fuel pump mounted next to it. I think that covers everything underneath the car. Uh, disc brakes in front, uh, drum in back, emergency brake cables look like they're hooked up. This is an original Code 52 Garnet Red car, which is a dark red. This color has metal flake in it. So this is like a prettier version of the Garnet Red, in my opinion. It's still a dark red, but as the sun hits it, it, it just glistens. Uh, and the body is clean like the floors. First of all, look at how square and everything, everything's square and flush. These hood hinges wear out, the hoods get wobbly, none of that going on with this one. The doors fit square and flush, the trunk is perfectly square and flush. Every angle you look at it, it's straight. There's no waves, no issues with this body. Even along the bottom, it's like a mirror reflection. The fenders are all metal. I looked up under the door, that lip that folds over is clean all the way around the door. The quarter panels are clean. I believe they're the originals. So super clean body. 
The paint on it's gorgeous. It's polished to a smooth, glossy finish. If you look for them, there are a number of nicks. There's one right here I just seen. They're touched up. There's one right on the edge of the fender. I just happened to catch it in the light as it was going around. And there's probably a couple more on the car somewhere. But it's straight. It shows beautiful. Uh, a couple nicks if you look for them. Uh, the chrome on the back of the car looks like someone did it recently. The tail lights, the bumper, all this trim, this all looks really nice. The chrome on the front of the car, the grill, the bumper, it's all good. It's fine, doesn't need to be replaced, but it's not new either. Uh, door handles are nice, but they have a little bit of wear. Here's a bow tie mirror that looks new. Stainless trim, looks like someone ran a buffer and polisher. I can see a few swirl marks there but it looks like it's way better than average. Windshield's probably original. There are some little stone chips, no cracks or anything, but little nicks in the paint. These look like they're pretty new. Somebody put 502 emblems on the hood. Uh, Kreger wheels, they sparkle, they're beautiful. 15 inch round, they're wider in the back. Tires, I think he said, were new as well. There's a little bit of age on the chrome. If you get up close to the Craigers, like in the, like right here, it's a little rusty right in the, in the curve there. So they're not new, but again, they look great. Uh, window seals, weather strips are replaced. Door jams are very nicely painted. They're not like over the top, like up here by the hinges is not like polished, but they're painted. The interior, the, the pearl white looks great against this red. Probably a 10-year-old upholstery. It shows a little bit of patina. There's no rips, no tears. It's, it's not like that, but it's not new. Uh, they did recover the headrest. I don't like the covers. I would just buy headrests so they're not baggy. Um, the dash, we did spend some money on the dash. It's kind of beat up. So the whole instrument panel is new with all the chrome. Uh, the power top switch is new. The lighter is new and the gauge cluster has a factory tack with the gauges. That's new, the dash pad's new, the mirror is new. We just did all that right here. So it's all working and nice. Has a tilt column with a rosewood deluxe wheel, couple cracks in the plastic wheel. Center console's a really nice original uh, with a Hurst shifter and a chrome ball. It does have the five speed indicator on the console. They changed it from the four speed. Uh, it has a retro stereo with the auxiliary plug, and it has kick panel speakers molded in. Carpets are real nice. You know, door panels are straight. They're not warped. Uh, so the only thing I would do inside the car is it, the headrests. They're new, but they bug me that they're baggy like that. You can buy those. That's not even an issue. Uh, so, yeah, the interior is nice. Let me open the trunk for you. Convertible top's brand new. It's a white power top. We just did that too. That's a couple of weeks old. Uh, real nice shape. I think we replaced the weather strips on it too. Inside the trunk has been all uh, boxed. What I mean by that is they, uh, like they even framed around the hinges and around the latch here. It's all been boxed and then carpeted. And it has a matching carpeted cover made over the tire. Uh, the tire is a new tire on a, a rim, so you do have a spare. Underneath the trunk lid here, it's got the Chevy logo embossed. And I think they're the original quarters. These seams and spot welds, these are factory, and they're perfect right here. And, and where it attaches in there and in the door jam, all that's nice and clean. So we haven't got to the motor yet. It's one of the best parts of the car. It's a GM Crate 502 with 502 horsepower. That's an 8.2 liter motor. That's cast on the side of the block. I thought, wow, that's, that's huge. So it has the GM aluminum heads and intake, dual feed Holly carb on top with electric choke, has a fuel regulator with a gauge. It's an MSD uh, electronic ignition system. Uh, it has a set of coated headers. Really nice cast aluminum Chevrolet valve covers on top. Uh, it's got the billet pulleys in front with the serpentine belt, chrome alternator, uh, billet bracket on the power steering. It has power brakes. It has a new wiper motor. 
aluminum radiator with a polished overflow bottle, new shroud, new fan, new battery. It's bolted down. This is nice. It could be detailed a little better. Under here is gloss black, new insulation. Uh, the inner fenders are painted gloss, but they have like an overspray. You can polish them. You can tidy this up a little nicer in here, although it's really good the way it is. My standards have just gotten so high lately. Uh, a couple years ago, I'd be saying this is show quality. Uh, but anyway, the car in general, like I said, is not a perfect car. But you've got a clean body, gorgeous colors, a 502 five-speed. The thing runs great. This is the type of car you're going to use, or I'd hope you would use it. Just get in, go drive it, have fun with it. Right now, I'm going to have some fun with it and fire it up. Listen to that cam. Forget the radio, that's your music right there. I think the heater control panel is new. We must have replaced that as well. The horns are hooked up. Yeah, the hood fits so nice. Someone's going to have a great car here. You're going to have a blast with this. You're going to have more compliments than you can think of. You're going to make a lot of people envious. They're going to wish this was their car and they were out driving around in it. But anyway, visit volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman. I just gave you my honest impression of the car. If you have specific concerns, feel free to ask them. They will help. They will also help you with the delivery, the financing, paperwork visit volocars.com. If you just enjoy watching the videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, and you will be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.